Whether it's beef cattle or dairy cattle, all cattle need water. Richie brings you fresh water on demand. Richie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Ethan Overs of the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Richie Watering Systems. Live imports from our neighbors from both the north and the south affect our markets in multiple ways. Cow and bull imports affect lean meat supplies, fed cattle imports affect fed beef production, and feeder cattle imports affect available feeder cattle supplies and fed cattle supplies further down the road. Canadian cow and bull imports, mainly intended for slaughter, are on par with the five-year average but are below 2014 levels. Year-to-date cow and bull imports from Canada are 15% below 2014 levels. Fed steer and heifer imports are 39% below 2014 levels year-to-date. This can be attributed to tighter fed cattle supplies in Canada recently. These tighter supplies have been supportive to the cash-fed cattle prices in Canada. A stronger cash-fed market in Canada has narrowed the basis between the U.S. fed cattle price and the Canadian fed cattle price. This, in turn, has decreased the incentive to import fed cattle into the U.S. The same has occurred in feeder cattle imports, but not until recently. Year-to-date, feeder cattle imports have been above 2014 levels but by 17% and above the five-year average by 54%. The year-over-year -year increases are due to the strong demand for feeder cattle here in the U.S. The short supply of feeder cattle here in the U.S. and the high demand that we saw last fall and early in 2015 has drawn more feeder cattle into the U.S. as feed yards look to add inventory. Recently, we have seen the basis weaken and anticipated larger supply of feeder cattle moving forward has reduced the incentive to import feeder cattle. Mexican feeder cattle imports are on par with the five-year average and 9% above the 2014 levels year-to-date. As Mexico goes through its own cow expansion phase, expected trend to remain on par with the long-term average. Total feeder cattle imports are 11% above year-ago levels. As the U.S. feeder cattle supply increases from late spring through summer, expected feeder cattle imports to slow down, following the typical seasonal pattern of declining through the summer before increasing next fall. The strong U.S. dollar remains supportive to live cattle imports from both Mexico and Canada. Thanks for watching and remember to visit CattleFacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, CattleFacts has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefacts.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. CattleFacts, the deciding factor.